In this session, we're going to discuss the knowledge base. To access the knowledge base, on the far right, on the top, you'll see a question mark button. Click on that button, and this will bring up a link to our knowledge base. You'll have a number of articles that will come up by default, as they are the most commonly searched for items. You also can use our search mechanism at the bottom, but we do try to ask people to use smaller keywords or phrases as to be able to find your information quicker. If you try to get too specific, such as typing in a full sentence, that might narrow it down way too much and you might not be able to bring up any articles tied to what you're looking for. So a couple of keywords or phrases will help you in this regard. Let's say I want to learn about cloning a survey. I'm going to type in the word cloning and I can either click on the enter button on my keyboard or click on the magnifying glass to search. You can see a number of articles appear. Uh, cloning our survey is the very top one, so I'll just click on that. And this will open up the particular article in this right-hand panel. And I can scroll through or read through uh, any of the information. If the images might be too small or anything of that nature, you can always click on the title of the article. And this will open up this particular article in a brand new tab so that you'll be able to scroll through or zoom in as necessary or just to have something open while you are trying to actively perform whatever task it is. So I can also uh, come back to the launch pad in this particular case and click on the X to close out this article. Maybe I still don't find what I'm looking for. I can click on the Ask feature on the top right. And here you will see a drop down uh, relating to the specific product in which you were trying to get your question or answer uh, or resolution to. In this particular case, I'm going to select CMix and I'll click on Next. Here you'll have the option to type in a subject and a body and then click on Send a Message. This will send a message to our uh, customer success team and we get, try to get back to you as soon as we can with any uh, questions or follow-up um, questions or even answers to your uh, particular question that you have asked to us. We might even send you a link to a knowledge base article that maybe didn't come up for you as well. If I want to close out of this knowledge base beacon altogether, I can either A, click on the question mark up on the top, or if I click on it again, it'll appear. I can just click away anywhere else and it'll disappear but it's available to you at any time. And if you'd like to, you can always use the back button. There is a back button if you do need to go uh, back to any certain particular area, but you can also click on the answers and ask at any time as well. And that covers the link to our knowledge base.